In Pender County, a woman is looking for answers in her grandmother's death. On Annie Anderson's 84th birthday, she was found shot to death in her home in Pender County. A dark memory for Amber Moretti as she searches for the truth in her grandmother's death that remains unsolved. My goodness, she told me she was a little, like I said, she was a spitfire. As Amber Moretti flips through old pictures of her grandmother, Annie Anderson. I think this picture captures her best day because that's, that's just as she was. She snuck everybody up to her cheek like that. <laughs> as she reminisces about all the good times, she can't help but think about the moment it all ended. And wishing that I could have been there to protect her. It was August 18th, 2014. Anderson's 84th birthday. She always liked to go to the Pirates table. So every year we would go to the Pirates table. Moretti and her two daughters pulled up to Anderson's house off Morgan Road. When I pull up, the house is dark. As Moretti walked up to the house, she noticed the glass pane on the door was broken. I had a very this instinctive feeling something was very wrong. My daughters were very scared. They begged me not to go in. After calling 911, deputies from the Pender County Sheriff's Office arrived and went inside. And found uh, Mrs. Anderson inside deceased. When they actually opened the door is what I saw her feet, and that's all I'm glad I ever did see. Detective Greg Cromarty says Anderson was shot twice, sometime in the middle of the night. The shell casing broke the glass on the door. The evidence at the scene will show that she was shot immediately. There was no signs of a struggle. Moretti says they didn't know who did it. But what they did know is Anderson would not have opened the door for a stranger. The evidence indicates that she had opened the door to whoever shot her. And that's not all they found from the evidence. There were signs in the house that somebody had been looking for something. Whoever did this knew her, knew she was alone, and knew exactly what she had and where she had it. And Moretti says what Anderson had were things only a few people knew about. There was a lot of, um, very old jewelry. Family heirlooms that were never found. Some of the pieces of jewelry consisted of um, a diamond and a sapphire ring, three stones of each on the ring, a gold watch, an old pocket watch. There were several gold rings that the stones at some point had been removed, uh, as well as there was a, a bag of old silver coins. Cromarty says at first, tips poured in. A lot of phone calls, a lot of people offering information and, and, and tips. We followed up on what leads we had and then information dried up. It was a day that was supposed to be a celebration that turned into a nightmare. She did not deserve her final moments to be in the sphere that it was. No, nobody deserves that. A nightmare that continues as detectives look for the missing piece in the investigation. What we're hoping is that there's somebody that may have information that can help us bring this investigation to a conclusion. Information that could be connected to the missing jewelry. Anyone that bought around that time any jewelry that they would, looking back on, may would consider suspicious circumstances. Any kind of information that could bring Moretti the justice she's been searching for. Everybody says there will be justice on God's time, but I'm in the flesh and I would like to see justice here on earth. The missing piece that would end the nightmare that remains unsolved. This is where you come in. If you know anything, even the smallest thing, please contact the Pender County Sheriff's Office. For more information on who to call, you can find this story online on our website, wayt3.com unsolved.